Hello everybody and welcome to my bathroom. I have been trying to figure out how to put my camera in my bathroom and I will put a picture of what you guys look like sitting on top of my vanity right now. Um, it's a little ridiculous but I did want to film a skincare routine video talking you through all the products I use, the order I use them, when I use them and all that stuff. So if you want to see that stay tuned and watch the whole video. Just as a reminder, for the month of June, I am donating all of my AdSense from the entire channel to the Black Lives Matter movement. So make sure you watch the whole video with all of the ads. I'm gonna put ads in the middle if it's over 10 minutes. So stick with it, I promise it's worth it. But yes, hope you enjoy this skincare routine. Again, welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> um, I could not find a good angle in this bathroom. So here we are. Um, I have a nice skylight though, so I feel like that brings really good light into the video and you can totally see my tripod right here. So we're just gonna ignore all of that. Let's get started with my morning routine. I do this almost every morning when I'm a good person, but I always start off with the Checks and Balances Cleanser from Origins. This cleanser is has been my tried and true for a really long time. Um, I got my sister hooked on it. It's one of those things that we always get for Christmas and then also my birthday. Yes, love this. It feels like you're washing your face with a cloud. It froths up really well and I just feel like it's more moisturizing than other skin um, cleanses I've used before. Um, I was on Accutane so I need something a little bit gentler on my skin so I think this does a really good job and I've been using it for years at this point and it's probably my favorite. If I don't feel like using that, I'll usually swap in with the Kylie Skin. Um, don't love this as much. It leaves my skin feeling probably a little bit drier than the Origins does, but I do love how this foams and I actually love how, love how it smells. I think that was a big critique in the beginning, but I like how it smells. I like that Barbie plastic. <laughs> so then also in the morning, the next thing I will do, I'm looking at my counter over here and it's so messy, but we live in chaos. The next thing that I'll do is put on the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This is the newest addition to my skincare routine. Um, hyaluronic acid is good to keep the moisture in your skin. And when quarantine started, I had the worst, um, like skin dryness. I'm like, what's the word I'm looking for? I had the worst dryness. So my sister recommended this. If you haven't heard of the ordinary, you've been under a rock, but it's very, um, I would say cheap. Cheap's not the right word. It is very cost effective. So you can get it at Ulta and at Sephora. So hyaluronic acid. Then I follow the hyaluronic acid with a moisturizer. So I have three moisturizers that I like to use. Um, if I'm putting on makeup, we'll start with that. If I'm putting on makeup, I will use the Origins um, Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. This is very moisturizing, but also leaves a matte finish on your skin. So it's a really nice primer for makeup. I will say if you use this without makeup, your skin looks amazing, but it kind of does leave a little bit of that like matte residue. So just make sure you're cleansing your face really well, even if you aren't wearing makeup. Um, but yeah, love this, it's super good. If I am, just staying in the house, doing some chores, not really leaving. I will use the Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer from Trader Joe's. This is my second one of this, that's why it's not open. I've been using this for a really long time. I like this more at night, which I'll talk about a little bit more, but if I'm staying at home like that, if I'm going out or exploring, and I'm taking my dog for a walk, which is every day, so I almost always put this on top of the Trader Joe's Moisturizer, is the Active Moisturizer with sunscreen from Olay. It's the whip version. I really like this. It goes in my face, it goes in my face, absorbs really fast and it doesn't leave like a white cast on my skin which I like because girl I am pale enough. I do not need a white cast on top of that. Really like this. Absorbs really fast. Basically all my complaints with sunscreen are those things. Um, it also doesn't smell too bad. It smells like an Olay product and if you know you know. <laughs> so yeah I love this. The only thing that I would say about this moisturizer is that it is expensive for a drugstore product. It is, I think, $40 for this, which is not something I would normally spend, but a few influencers I follow were talking about it, so I really wanted to give it a try, so I have that. A few little extra things that I'll use in the morning is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. Brightens up your eyes, keeps them fluffy, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just think it just 
makes my eyes look better. I would say I use this only when I'm not wearing makeup. I feel like it almost conceals because it's brightening. So this is really nice. Love to use that. And then if I'm feeling extra, I'll use the Rose Water Facial Toner. This is literally just a spray. This is also from Trader Joe's. It's just refreshing and nice. It makes you feel expensive. I don't know. To put a spray on after your skincare. So really like this. I would say I don't see a huge difference in my skin, but I just like how it feels. Now on to my nighttime routine. If I'm, this is all an ideal world if I'm a great person and I go through my whole skincare routine every morning and every night. I double cleanse. So I will start with the Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. I will be honest, I usually only double cleanse when I'm wearing makeup. So probably should do it every day, but baby steps. And then once we cleanse this off, we use a water-based cleanser, and that is the Origins once again. I've been using this Clinique cleanser for years. I usually buy it from the cosmetic company outlet because it's cheaper, or I'll buy a bunch of them when uh, Ulta has them on sale, but this thing lasts you forever. It melts off your makeup, makes your skin all prepped and ready for you to actually cleanse. So love this. I think it's a really good product. After I cleanse, I have really gotten off of the toner game. I don't know what it is. I have a bunch of toners. I have the Glossier um, Solution, and then I also have the Kylie Skin Toner. Um, I love pink skincare products, obviously. But yeah, I just got off the toner game. I'm not really into it right now. Instead, I script skip. Bleh. I skip straight to moisturizer. What I use for moisturizer is, um, again, the Trader Joe's gel moisturizer mixed with the vitamin C suspension 23% and HA Spears 2%. I'm gonna be real, I don't know what this does, but my sister told me it's good for dry skin, so I mix these together, put them on my skin. Um, I would say ever since introducing Ordinary into my skincare routine, I have had just really clear skin. I basically never wear makeup in videos, um, which you may have noticed, but my skin is great. Um, as someone who used to have cystic acne, you dream of these days. So yes, after my moisturizer, I sometimes might top my eyes with the eye cream depending on if they're dry. And then, oh, one thing I forgot to mention in my morning routine is the Laneige sleeping mask. Again, you've probably heard of this. A lot of people say that you can use Vaseline, it's the exact same thing, but I use Vaseline for 23 years of my life and I'm telling you, this is better. It is $20 for this pot, but I've had this for like a few months and I haven't even made a dent in it. So I use this usually morning and night and even during the day. It's supposed to be a sleeping mask, but seriously, you can use it whatever and it's just a thick um, like gloss. So good tip, use this all the time. On top of my nighttime and skin, my nighttime and morning skincare routines, I also have some things that I do to just maintain how my skin looks and then these are only like once in a while things maybe once a week but I'll point that out if there's any like that so first thing I want to talk about is something that I hated talking about hated asking people about I was like do women just know this and this is something they're supposed to know um or when do they learn it so this is my face shaver I use this to shave off the peach fuzz on my face um, probably once a month, once every six weeks. I don't know. It's kind of whenever my face starts to feel kind of peach fuzzy. This one is a fancy one. Um, you can literally buy disposable razors like this from CVS or Ulta or Amazon has them too. This one has a light on it, which is nice to be able to see the baby hairs and make sure you're getting them all. That is literally the only fancy thing about this. Um, it doesn't vibrate, it doesn't do anything else, it just has light. So this is a product that I use at least once a week, if not twice. This is the Sephora um, Water Gel Mask. I bought, <laughs> if you know me, I've probably told you about this mask. I bought this on a whim. I needed to add like one more thing to my cart on Sephora to get free shipping. And this was on sale for $9. So I bought it, jumped on it. I freaking love it. I will be repurchasing this until the end of my life. I have a lot of masks actually for Christmas. My dad gets me and my sister like a stack of those sheet face masks um, every year. We just get to use them all year. 
this is the only mask I've ever used where I feel a difference when I wake up. Genuinely, my skin feels soft and plump and like a baby's butt. It is amazing. I'm sure this is a dupe for a more expensive thing, but I think the price point, full price, is $20 for this. It's amazing. I literally can't say enough good things about it. It smells good. It's got, it's this cute blue color. It's really cooling when you put it on your skin. Your skin doesn't stick to the pillow at all when you have it on. It is sticky, but it's not like peel your skin off the pillow type sticky. So I love this. Cooling, calming, smells good. Makes your skin feel like a baby when you wake up. I also had my roommate try this and she's pretty picky with products I would say and she also loves this and is gonna order it next time I order one. Love this, can't say enough good things. If you're gonna buy anything out of my whole skincare routine, make it this. This next thing is a very recent add to my skincare routine, I would say in the last two weeks. Um, I've only used it on my full face once, but it is the Ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. This is a very intense peeling mask, and you've probably seen it because it looks like you're smearing blood on your face. I keep telling this my vampire facial to everyone, which isn't the correct terminology, but you leave this on your skin up to 10 minutes, but no more, and it's just supposed to exfoliate your skin like a chemical exfoliant. So I use this once every two weeks, probably should use it once a week, um, but yes. I do like it, it didn't burn my skin, I didn't have any bad effects. I would also say I don't have sensitive skin. My skin's pretty hardy, so if you wanna give this a go, it's a very trendy product and it's also cost effective because it is the ordinary. I believe this is my last product to talk about. This is the Blueberry and Acai Facial Scrub from Trader Joe's again. Do love me some Trader Joe's beauty products. Um, this is my exfoliant if I wanna use a non-chemical exfoliant. This is an abrasive exfoliant, well not abrasive, I guess that's not the right word, but it is a goopy little exfoliant. I personally do not like the smell of this. It is very strong in berry, acai like vibes and I don't love the smell of it. I do like how my skin feels after I use it, so I have been using it up. I probably won't repurchase it. I'll probably look into a different exfoliant but I do like how my skin feels. And again, it's from Trader Joe's, it's cost effective. It is not an apricot scrub. So get on that, I think it is a great product. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys wanna see more, check out the rest of my channel and remember that in this month of June, I will be donating all of my AdSense to the Black Lives Matter movement. So make sure you watch all the videos the whole way through with all the ads and we can donate a little bit more money, so. I don't know how to end these because I can't then self-promote, but if you want to follow me on Instagram, the links will be down below, um, and I will see you in the next video. You're making it, making it brighter, right through the grave.